Take 12 kilograms of bones, add 33 kilograms of muscles, and 15 kilograms of fat. Mix it up with 20 kilograms of organs, done! Now you have all the ingredients to build up the human body. Or do you? They say you are what you eat, but do you recall eating half the entire periodic table? They also say your body is 60% water. Where is all that water anyway? And what exactly makes up the remaining 40%? Ever felt like a million dollars? What if we told you that all the chemical elements that make up your body are worth just about $160? No surprise there since you're mostly made up of oxygen. Of course, all bodies are different. Tall, short, old, young, fit, and not so much. But we're all just a bunch of molecules that happen to be doing some complicated things. Or are we more than that? It all comes down to who you ask. A biologist would say that you're made up of around 100 trillion cells. They're constantly replicating, dying, and getting replaced with new ones. They also contain most of your body's water. More than half of those cells aren't exactly your own. They're bacterial cells. Many species of bacteria and other microorganisms live inside and outside of your body. Collectively, they weigh around two kilograms. But wait, don't rush to wash your hands just yet. Not all bacteria are harmful. Actually, most of your microbes improve your immune system, and the internal ones are vital for food digestion. On the other hand, the human cells in your body form all types of material that you're made of. Those muscles you worked so hard to build, and that fat you always meant to lose, your bones, your teeth, your brain, and all your body fluids, including blood and, well, urine. However, if you ask a chemist what you're made of, the answer will be very different. They'd give you a list of the chemicals that built you. A 70 kilogram adult has this many atoms. Let me save you from trying to count all those zeros. There's 27 of them. Or you could just say 7 billion billion billion. That's a whole lot of atoms. Your body contains at least 60 chemical elements. For the most part, it's oxygen and hydrogen, forming H2O, or water. Then there's the carbon that makes up all your organic compounds, like carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, and nitrogen that builds up your DNA. Other elements, though important for supporting life, are found in very small quantities. You'd be surprised how little iron you need. Just four grams. But still, that's enough to transport all 40 kilos of oxygen around your body. Yeah, that's right, 40 kilograms of oxygen. 99% of the mass of your body is made up of just six elements. Of that, 65% is oxygen. And since all atoms are 99.9% .9 empty space, technically, you're made up of nothing. If we somehow manage to remove all that empty space from our bodies, the entire human population would take up the space of a single sugar cube. If you wanted to be more poetic, you could say you're made of stardust. All the elements you're made of were once cooked up in the stars when they died and became supernovas. They traveled to Earth via comets billions of years ago and formed organic compounds, the building blocks of all living things on our planet. Technically, you're 97% of that star stuff, which is pretty impressive, isn't it? So the next time you're unhappy about your body, just think about how amazing you are to have come so far. Born of the stars, grown from a primitive cell to a complex system. Want to know how that system works? Stay tuned to discover your amazing body with us. By the way, in case you wondered, the uncoiled DNA from all the cells in your body would stretch from here to Pluto and back. Cool, right?